Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So I already have my fall 2019 FabFitFun box and add-ons and I'm really, 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 really hopeful that this means that the restructure on FabFitFun's shipping warehouse is actually working out after all. There were a whole lot of issues with the summer sale. I'm hoping that things are looking up. I've seen so many people post that they've already received shipping notices, if not already received their box. So that's a really good sign. I really am hopeful. So I am filming my unboxing in my bathroom, which I have never done before. Of course, I'm trying it for the first time with my biggest shipment ever. Heave. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is it. There's a beer kit in here, and then I've got some Christmas presents that are rather bulky. So this bad boy is my fall 2019 add-ons and the box. So look at this. Oh my gosh. Ah, that's so funny. Okay. So if you don't know, FabFitFun is a subscription box. It's quarterly and you pay $49.99 a quarter if you're seasonal. If you're annual, it's $44.99 or $45.99 or something like that, but you pay for the whole year and you get certain perks. The awesome thing about FabFitFun is that every quarter there isn't only a box, there are two sales. So the sale that happens concurrently when you get your box is called the add-on sale. So this is the fall box and add-ons. I shopped add-ons and I got Christmas presents. I also got the rest of my summer edit order so and that's right here so I'm gonna film this and upload it as a separate video they both came the exact same day and I really hope that FabFitFun's shipping stuff and inventory stuff is maybe gonna get better and things will get smoothed out yeah so fingers crossed for that let's just get into this giant box in front of me right here I have my regulation box cutter so the first thing is this is the craft beer kit I got this for my uh, brother-in-law and sister-in-law. I thought that they might like it for Christmas. It had good reviews. People were saying that it was a really decent starter kit. This is packed well. I mean, they had some really bulky things to try to puzzle into this box. Here's Terra Mare. So I love Terra Mare. They're a lovely vegan uh, high-end skincare line. I got a cleanser. This is the active coconut charcoal clarifying cleanser. I will put in the description box what I paid for everything. This is a really good size. This is five ounces. Oh, I missed this when I bought this. This is for oily skin. Whoops. I don't remember seeing that in the description. I will gift this. I'm gonna have to gift this maybe to my brother or something. I have dry skin. Well, that's a big bummer, but that's a really nice gift for somebody else. I got this fat beep, <laughs> fat lash. <laughs> so fat lash. I really was intrigued by this spoolie on it. It had, well, there's no picture of it on here. I'll try this. I do reviews of everything that I try. So if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and stick around and introduce yourself. But I want to show you why I was so intrigued by this mascara. <gasps> I think they sent me the wrong mascara. That's okay. I'll still try it. But the one I thought I got had spikes on the top of the spoolie that made it look like it had, like a like somebody with spiky hair, uh, but this one is not that one. I think they maybe grabbed the wrong mascara and sent it to me, but I just opened it, so I will keep it and I will let you guys know what I think of it. Now, I went ahead and I got the Ahava Mineral Bath Salts. I got three of them because these have excellent reviews. I am planning already for Christmas shopping, as I said. I think that this would make a really good Christmas present. This smells really subtle. That's really nice actually. It hardly has much of a scent. I wonder if once you put it in the bath and it starts to dissolve if the scent uh, becomes more apparent. So I have three of those in here. This box, I feel like I have to dive in and grab things out. I pretty much do. So I have two more. And these are just gonna be gifts, like for coworkers. I was thinking my mother-in-law, my husband says he's not sure if she likes eucalyptus. We'll see, I'm going in again. <laughs> this is a moisturizing oil spray. It must have had, oh, it has a cap. I'm, go I'm going in to get the cap. This is by Earthly Body, so it looks like this. 
uh, Earthly Body does the Marrakesh hair care stuff and I like their company a lot and this had good reviews. Oh, I like this scent. It's not very strong. It's just slightly sweet. Yeah, so it's a moisturizing oil spray. Let's try spraying a little bit. Oh, it's really subtle. That's nice because when you think about something that you're gonna be spraying on your entire body, it can smell nice, but once you get it all over yourself, you just can't even stand the smell of yourself. Really sweet. It might be a little too sweet after all, but this is also very giftable for Christmas. And then this is also Earthly Body. This is the Skin Butter Trio, and this is for Christmas for sure. I didn't hold that up very long. So it's just three small body butters and in different scents that Earthly Body has. And this is for Christmas. I was going to just use these as stocking stuffers and give them to colleagues. Actually, you know what? I have three coworkers where one of this and then one of these would be an excellent little gift for Christmas. I start planning Christmas shopping in the summer. So that's a, that's a gift as well. So far everything's gifts. Let's see if there's something in here for me. Okay, so this is Terramare. This is a dual action bamboo a size scrub. It's a facial scrub. I hope it's not also for oily skin like the other one that I wasn't expecting. So here's the little plastic spatula that high-end skincare comes with. Anti-aging. So it doesn't say it's for oily skin. I'm really bummed about that cleanser. I was really <laughs> excited about it, but for oily skin, not for me. Oh, here's the Grown Alchemist Body Scrub. So I got one of these. The Grown Alchemist is awesome. They're an Australian botanical, cruelty free, all natural skincare line. And this is a body scrub. And look at the size of this thing. That's that's big. I'm excited. I'm excited to try this one. I only got one because I've never tried it before. It smells minty. It's purifying body exfoliant, pearl peppermint, ylang ylang. I actually don't really know how to say that. Ylang, 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 ylang. I don't know. But yeah, so there's this. So I can actually put this right into my shower. I went ahead and got myself an Aquas hair turban. I really like the Aquas stuff. Their towels work so well. I don't know what they're made of, but it dries your hair so well. I have two of their towels, and I like their towels because I feel like they're more versatile, but I have gone through so many sales where they've had turbans available, and I finally went ahead and bought one. $11 for a high-end hair turban. And then if I pull it out and look at it and decide I don't like it, this is also a really good gift. I have all the women in my family covered already pretty much because of extras that I've picked up from FabFitFun. Okay, I'm gonna take everything out of here. Okay, this is much better. This is all that was left at the bottom of the box. So this is the Lifestyle Company Eye Serum. I have, I don't have a backup eye cream, so I went ahead and picked this up, and there were a lot of people that were saying that they got this and they were so surprised how much they liked it. And it's interesting, it's, it's a roller ball. So it looks like that. And we'll see. So once I'm done with the Elemis Peptide for Recovery Cream, I will move on to that and I'll let you guys know how what I think of it. I'll let you know what I think of the Elemis as well. Here is, oh, so the Bloom stuff, the B-L-U-M-E stuff. Check out their website. They have a subscription box, which is $8 a month for natural tampons. And then you can also add things to your subscription, such as this Melt down acne treatment. This is like a serum. And this had really good reviews. I did hear, somebody left a comment, I believe, that they changed their formula and they heard a lot of feedback that the new formula wasn't as effective. So I don't know, I hope that that's not true. I'm <laughs> crossing my fingers. I do get a blemish from time to time and I got the, this and the Mighty Patches to try to help with it. So I'm really looking forward to trying that and I will actually probably subscribe to their Lady Time <laughs> subscription box. I call it Lady Time when I need tampons and whatnot. I call it lady time. So I discovered that my Pond's Cold Cream has parabens, so I've been looking for a good makeup remover to replace it, and I am going to try this. This is the Lifestyle Company 100% Natural Ultimate Makeup Remover, and it's oil-based. So it's like an oil-based cleanser, which is funny because I just got that Dermalogica one that I made the video about in my Influencer Box box. So I didn't know that was coming, so I may not have ordered that if I had that already, but I will use both. I got 
got the blender cleanser solid chill swirl so this is like the solid soap bar that is made specifically for cleaning brushes and stuff this had I can get this right. This had really good reviews and people were saying they preferred this over the liquid soap that was in the sale. So I grabbed that because I've been doing the get ready with me is that I need something to clean my brushes with. I got the Ciate translucent setting powder. For the most part, people were saying really good things about this. It looks like it's about half full. And I think I remember somebody is saying that they, they were upset by that in a review, but that's okay. Anyway, so it looks like this. You can't really, oh yeah, there you go. You can read it. I will try this out and get ready with me and let you know how it works. I got the London Town, this was, what did they call this? It was just like a translucent nail polish. I am really excited to try out the London Town stuff. Tammy's Ageless Beauty, I really like her. She's a beauty YouTuber, she does stuff for the mature woman and I just think she is so refined and classy. I like her stuff and she was sent pretty much all of the London Town nail polishes and she highly recommends them. So I'm going to give this one a try. They don't have all the yucky ingredients that most nail polishes have, which is apparently what's so excellent about them. I will try them out and let you guys know. So that's it for my add-ons. And now we're going to get into the box. I think the box, this quarter is so cute. It looks so retro, so 70s. I think that this is probably my least favorite box that I have ever gotten from FabFitFun. I received the fall box in 2018 and this is, that was my first box. Fall 2018 was my first box. So this is my least favorite box and it's the first box that I'm really just not into and I actually think that that's pretty good for over a year essentially. This would be my fifth, fifth box. Okay and so here is the magazine that comes inside of it. Megan Trainer decided to partner with them and help raise money for City of Hope, which is a hospital in Los Angeles, I believe. It's like a little mini magazine, has a bunch of little articles about health and fitness and girly, awesome girly things. I am going to get to the page that talks about what is in the box. Here it is. So that is it. If it focused you can pause if you'd like to see that's everything um, including all of the customization options it comes with a little card here if you want $15 off your first box you can go ahead and use that code so this is I guess a coupon that I could give to somebody and I just gave it to you go ahead and use it feel free then here is $80 off of HelloFresh I remember my first box it was $50 off that they included and then it was $60 off for a while Anyway, there's $80 off. If you can see that code, you can go ahead and use it too. I'm not going to subscribe. So now let's get into this box. I think that there are a lot of potentially giftable items in this box, but I'm not really excited about much that's in here. So that's what it looks like. This is something that everyone got, and this is a body souffle, human and kind skincare with a conscience. So there it is. And it says that this retails for $18. So it's sealed. Oh, it's obviously childproof. <laughs> oh, it smells like kiwi or something. Like it's like it wants to be a kiwi scent. Yeah, like a kiwi kiwi melon or something. It smells nice. I thought it was gonna be like an orange scent, like a creamsicle or something. That's nice. This is some, also something that everybody got. This is the Aveda Aveda. Oh, Aveda. I've never tried anything by them. Okay, damage remedy. So it looks like that. And then this retails for $30. Infused with quinoa protein, macadamia oil, and soy, instantly repair and protect your hair from heat styling. Oh! Instantly repair and protect your hair. So what are the directions on this thing? To use Shake Well. Oh, I thought it was more creamy. Shake Well, work a small amount of product in hands, apply through damp hair and comb to distribute. Do not rinse. That's it. That's it for the instructions. So I guess you use it before you heat style and it repairs as I, anyway. I'm excited to use this. I've never tried anything by Aveda. Now this last thing is also something that everybody got. And this is by Harper and Ari and they are exfoliating sugar cubes. I'm not sure what to make of these. Okay, these retail for $16. 
This also has kind of like a melony type scent. Melony. <laughs> Who's melony? Like melon. It doesn't say what kind of scent it is, but that's what I pick up. And this says, these delightful sugar cubes are a great way to exfoliate and nourish your skin in the shower, all while leaving a yummy scent. There's not very many. There are only eight in here. Do you use, I guess, I don't know. See, this, I'm, not, I'm quite excited for the Aveda stuff. I didn't realize it was Aveda. I saw the sugar cubes and I saw that there was some sort of lotion and then I didn't really look any further. Okay, so those are the things that everybody got. And then I got from customization number one, there should be a yoga mat in here. And I am getting more and more excited about this. I already have a yoga mat. The thing about this one is it doesn't roll. It's much less bulky. So I was going to take this to work and leave it there. That way I can close my door to my office, hopefully for half an hour a day, and actually do some stretches or something because I don't move all day long and it is starting to get to me. I really feel it. I'm also just curious about how thick this is because if it folds, It smells, it smells like it just came from the manu, manufactory. <laughs> it smells like it just came from the manufacturer or a factory, whichever one you want. Yeah, it's a yoga mat. So this yoga mat, you could have either gotten this yoga mat or you could have gotten a hair straightener by Amika or you could have gotten a plush scarf. So the yoga mat retails for $50. The scarf retailed for $75 and the straightener retails for $80. And so it was, this is the yoga mat, this is the straightener right here, and then the scarf is right here. And then I chose, you could have either gotten a salt and pepper mill, which is this, and this retails for $21.95. You could have gotten an after spa hair towel wrap. You could have gotten Tristique eye essential set, and you could have gotten a body boost gel, which is supposed to be a pre-workout gel you put on your muscles. So you could have gotten this, which I got, these, this is the Tristique thing, the body boost gel or the hair towel wrap. And I got the pepper mill. I'm hoping we can think of somebody that might want this for a Christmas present. Or maybe it will be amazing and my husband will like it. He's the cook. And then I got the bobble bar earrings. These are the ear crawlers and these retail for $34. And these are pretty. These are really pretty. And a friend said that they are stainless steel, so that's okay. I'm usually pretty skeptical of the material of the jewelry that FabFitFun has available. So these are pretty. These are pretty. I could wear these when I want to get really dressed up. A couple more things. I ended up getting the Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy Face Toner. And so this is what this looks like. I haven't tried anything by Skin & Co. yet, and I've never really been interested in using face toner, so I don't have one. I've never used one regularly, but I figured I didn't want the other things, and maybe that just means now's the time for me to try toner. So this retails for $30. You could have also gotten these Wander Beauty eye mask things, a pack of five of them, and that retails for $25. And you could have also gotten a Deep Relax Roller Ball from aromatherapy that would retail for $29 and that's that guy right there and then the last thing that I got is this lunch tote I went with the Kate Spade lunch tote it retails for $30 and you could have gotten that or a NAS FMD detox pads or a striped wallet or a cheese board plate so here is the wallet you could have gotten here is the lunch box that I did get and I will show it to you. Here's the pads and then here's the cheese plate. So I'm gonna show that to you. And if you're considering subscribing, this box, like I said, is the worst box that I've ever gotten. I think that they are usually a little more on point. Okay, so here is the lunch tote. And this I will probably also gift, but I think it's really cute and it's Kate Spade. So I'd be proud to give this to somebody as a Christmas present. So that's it, that's my fall box and add-ons. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video.